thanks to Nonprofit Commons. Thanks to all of you for this opportunity to share a little about Cognicon, which is our cognition convention or cognitive convention, and what the brain energy support team are best is doing these days. For those who may not know me, um, I am Namara McMorag or Gloria Craigle in that other life. I'm the chief groundskeeper at Etopia Sustainable Community here in Second Life. I'm also the executive director for the Brain Energy Support Team. BEST is a US-based nonprofit dedicated to offering peer support, education, and the tools and strategies to support superhero success within our neurodiverse community. We know how challenging navigating the world around us is with cognitive differences. Our hope with Cognicon is to share a little insight, a little fun, and a lot of awareness about what that means for so many of us, whether we're trying to be recognized as a whole person or working to engage in business, education, or family life. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, I. <laughs> I also want to um, address the comment that Exie made real quick about respecting indigenous people. The, the introduction or the welcome that I shared is an abridged welcome that I share um, it at physical presentations that I've done in, in, the, in the real world. And, um, and so while I won't take a half an hour to do the um, Thanksgiving and greetings of the uh, Onondaga, I, I did want to make us aware of where we're at and, and honoring those that, uh, that made this opportunity available for us in terms of where we are located. Anyway, to continue. BEST um, set up an office at Etopia in 2009. And since then, we've held board meetings in world, facilitated discussions, and hosted workshops and presentations. After the COVID pandemic changed the way most, if not all of us, worked out there, I was fortunate and proud to have a terrific team and supporting board of directors to help close down our offices in Washington State in the US and move everything we did to online platforms. Three years later, we're happy to call the virtual our real work environment. Etopia is filled with opportunities for our program participants to explore engage and feel empowered, all in a safe and supportive space. The bottom line is that over the past three years, BEST may have transformed how we operate, but not why. And that's in no small part because of the many partners from around the world that we have had the pleasure to work with and come to love as part of an amazing family of collaborators and friends here in Second Life. Today, as a way to engage you in our third Cognicon, I'm going to take you on a tour of the Utopia Plaza. Many of you have been there, but today I want to focus on why the Plaza is set up the way it is, how we engage our best program participants, and how you can learn a lot to improve the quality of life for yourself and those you love. So let's head over to the main landing area. Um, I put the link in the chat and I'll meet you there.
All right, so the info giver has everything you need for an enjoyable Cognicon. Okay, so the info giver has everything you need for an enjoyable Cognicon experience. All right, so welcome to Utopia. A couple of housekeeping things. All right, um, first, we have a sim wide teleport system for major areas around each of our regions. When you visit, you can explore, but if you want to get somewhere quickly, just click, select, and go. If you get lost today and need to catch up with us, please I am someone in the group for a teleport. You can even choose a buddy before we get started. Yep, we always recommend the buddy system when exploring. Utopia is a showcase for both sustainable and regenerative living, as well as a safe and engaging environment for our besties. From the comfort of their home, best participants can attend discussion meetings. They can practice transactional skills while they enjoy shopping around Utopia and other regions. They can go to plays, clubs, concerts, and more to meet new people while practicing the communication and social skills that we teach them. They get to build healthy daily living skills, learn about brain health, and have the opportunity for continuing education through colleges offering classes in Second Life, such as Peninsula College. Okay. We use storytellers throughout Utopia. Some provide instructions, others share experiences. Some give you gifts, others tell you stories. Right? So I see you're starting to engage with things. That's, a, that's great. Storytellers are the way we share what's important, useful, and interesting without a lot of posters and note card givers. Storytellers, like Leia, engage visitors. Now I just have to find where I'm at. Leia stole the show. So, speaking of storytellers, let's head over to the garden in the center of the plaza and see what Marnie and May have to share with us. Okay. Now I'll click on Marnie so that we can all um, share or, you know, join in the story. Okay. I'm going to let Leia finish. As you can see from Leia's chat, they try to share things that you may not be aware of, give you ideas of things you can do, right? And some of them actually have menu options. Yay, Leia, thank you. Okay. Okay, so we're going to head over to the uh, garden. It's just a little ways in here, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, Three Sisters Garden. I think I'm going to click on Leia and let her tell her story. 
They're not Leia. Marnie. So, welcome to Utopia's Three. gardens they inferred that the savages did not know how to farm to their minds a garden meant straight rows of single species not a three-dimensional sprawl of abundance and yet they ate their fill and asked for more and more again her essay about the three sisters garden is one of my favorites May can tell you more about the Three Sisters Gardens. The most important thing is that this kind of companion planting is easy to do no matter where you live. It doesn't have to take up a lot of space and it will produce a lot of food for you. And there are so many brain benefits to gardening this way. You're producing your own food so you know it's going to be healthy and tasty. You'll feel good about nurturing the garden because endorphins are always good. And you're going to exercise your mind because of the steps it takes to make your garden grow. If you live someplace where you have a yard, you can plant a little more or a little bigger and then share the food with friends and neighbors. I like sharing with others. It not only lifts my mood, it reminds me of how connected we are to the earth and each other. Explore more of Utopia and find other examples of gardening for food. So gardening, whether in your yard or on a windowsill, teaches us a lot. Patience, priorities, steps, and self-regulation, for example. Think about this. As you water your garden, it reminds you to stay hydrated yourself. As you plan your garden, you have to be mindful of the order of things, the steps. And if you have a community garden where you live, you get to make friends, share ideas, tips, learn about cooperation and sharing. There's a sense of pride as things grow. It creates a sense of independence because you can grow your own food. Ah, see, I'm going to click on Marnie now. <laughs> right? You can see that what Marnie shared can help someone understand the value of a garden like this. They also get a recipe they can make at home when they click on the, on the little garden sign at the front there. As you look around the plaza, Notice how open the space is. For new people in Second Life, it takes a little time to become comfortable with where your avatar is in space. Here, you can walk around, sit on a bench, get free gifts, even take a ride on the gondola at Eagle Peak, by the way, which is where Exy will be hosting a discussion about the myths and misunderstandings of autism at 2 p.m. SLT today. Some of the shops on the plaza belong to residents engaged in environmental business, education, or activism. So when you get a chance, come back and please visit them. You'll also notice we have an herb shop with an old world apothecary theme. It's kind of behind you. Reese, the proprietor of the shop, shares a little about herbs for well-being and health. Specifically, he shares information about kitchen gardens. And behind me, not really behind me, but to the right, your left, um, is the best superhero shop. And Gloria will tell you all about best. Our next stop is the COVID clinic we created last year. That's right here. Uh, 
wrong direction. Don't follow me. Sorry. I got turned around. My bad. COVID clinic. Lag. What a tour guide. More coffee. All right, so we designed this clinic to demonstrate the process for getting a vaccination at a physical location. Here, we walk through a simple process that was and still is difficult to navigate in most real world situations. This is a simple, non overwhelming way to learn about getting a vaccination or a COVID booster that helps besties get information in a straightforward way. Then they can feel more confident when going to a pharmacy, a physician's office, or a clinic in their own neighborhoods. Right? So follow me over to the bike rack by Judy Lynn's gallery. Okay. Excuse me, Shay. So I often sit at one of the galleries we have at Etopia to contemplate the artist's work. This is something I enjoyed doing when I lived in New York and in other urban centers, Berlin, San Francisco, I mean, just variety of places. Anyway, um, if you let your mind relax and explore the art you are engaging, uh, the, in the art, you are engaging in an act of mindfulness. Should I repeat that sentence? Anyway, we're going to follow the alley next to the gallery, okay, to the back plaza. Okay. Here is the Peninsula College office. Now, I know many of us have had the chance to visit the campus that Zinnia created here at Utopia. However, for visitors not familiar with the college, this office offers information in an engaging and even colorful way. The kiosks around the perimeter of this area offer information about our partners in Second Life. The chess set is a great way for folks to, well, play chess. It's large so that it's easy to see and interact with. We won't go across the bridge to the drum circle, but I can tell you it's a great place to hang out together and share conversation. Across from the drumming circle, <laughs> You know, Shay, you're right. It, they're big pieces. So across from the drumming circle is our meditation waterfalls, where we host mindful meditation and visualization exercises. It's also a great place to visit on your own. At this point, we're going to circle around to the food co-op. So please follow me. And we're going to go... I got this. Yep, this way. I know. Whoops, sorry, Val.
Lots of walking. Retail food cooperatives have many benefits. I'll just wait just a second till everybody catches up. Although I think most people should be able to at least hear me, right? Retail food cooperatives have many benefits, not just for consumers, but for the communities in which they are located. But that's another presentation. Nutrition, access to healthy food, and food affor affordability are more important today than ever, especially as we have come to rely more and more on industrial food production versus having a family garden. With our program participants we work with, with our program participants we work on things like transactional skills, how to manage overload, which foods to buy, and what to stay away from. Working out the glitches in a safe space like this lessens the chance of outbursts, overload, and negative consequences when trying to navigate stores and people and selections and the audio system and kids crying and colors and where things are and well i think you get the idea it really is not as easy for someone who is neurodivergent to do this successfully as it is for others unless they have helpful tools and strategies and overload is a big thing I think that, you know, Exy can attest to this, my partner Fate can, I can. There are so many of us that shopping in a store, even going in, getting what we need and getting out, isn't always as easy as someone might think. All right, so something as simple as earplugs to lessen auditory stimulus can be invaluable. Creating a card to give the cashier, explaining you have aphasia and cannot find the right words or even speak at the moment is another tool. Right? Meltdowns can be ugly. I don't care what age you are. You know, we, we talk about kids having temper tantrums. Think about it as they're having a meltdown. Okay, so it doesn't matter what age, right? Thank you so much for sharing these experiences. This is great. So I hope that you're getting a sense of what BEST and our partners do here and why you are invited to be part of Cognicon, our cognition convention. And just as an aside, if you haven't had a chance to visit Whole Brain Health, um, you should. I'm typing this in chat real quick. Just give me one second. All right, so what I wanted to say was that Whole Brain Health has many interactive activities on Inspiration Island and really should take advantage of visiting that too. It's all about brain health. Um, so, yeah. And they have a huge brain. You're absolutely right. So we're going to walk over to Serenity Park for the conclusion of our time together. Okay, so just follow me. I promise not to get you lost. Whoop. Let's see if I can do this. I'll run over a minimum number of people. Okay. Just follow me. Got storytellers everywhere.
these are all places you would find in your own town center. And having them here engages visitors and allows us to work with our folks on social behaviors. Freedom of Espresso is one of my favorite places to spend time with friends. Seidel's Cafe on Etopia Prime is another amazing place. Okay. Thank you. Serenity Park is a typical urban park that offers a green space for people to relax, uh, do Tai Chi, and enjoy yoga. These are self-guided activities at Etopia. As a matter of fact, many things here at Etopia are self-guided interactive activities because mirror neurons lets us experience experience let us experience I'm so sorry and learn in second life how to do something in our physical world oh I am so sorry yes So gather around, let's get close, okay? I was saying that um, many things here at Etopia are self-guided interactive activities. Mirror neurons let us experience and learn in Second Life how to do something in our physical world, right? And, okay, as you are walking with me, you've seen several of the Cognicon Challenge chests. And I invite you to explore Etopia and find all 22 of them. You've only got this weekend to put on your pith hat, grab your map, and collect your treasure. Be sure to check out our schedule, attend discussions, a workshop, or join us, please join us, at noon, SLT, to dance to the sounds of DJ Andrew Lando Herbert. It's a lot of fun, okay? So that's pretty much a wrap. I wanted to take time to um, just kind of leave it open now if you have any questions, thoughts you'd like to share, and to let you explore. Okay, so I'm going to put out another giver, see if I can do this without landing on somebody. Info giver. Um, how does that do? Can, can everybody see that? It's huge. My gosh. <laughs> All right, so... It's the huge sign in the park. The chests require you to answer a question correctly to get the prize. Okay, so in the Explorer's Kit are helpful hints. If you would like um, an Explorer's Kit, I will share. How about I just share that with you? And you'll get a jump on everybody. Let's see where we are. Share. Okay. So hopefully everybody got the Explorer Survival Kit. If you didn't, I am me.
Right, so if you didn't, please IM me. So do you have any questions for me about BEST, about Utopia, about Cognicon? Any questions, thoughts? Okay, you're free to explore on your own. Thank you. Yeah. And we want it to be fun. So if you do the, you know, as you go through this, and there's something uh, that you think I can do better, Please, please, I am me. All right. Zinnia asked, when did you start Utopia and connect it with BEST? Um, Utopia was founded in 2007. I took over in early 2009 and immediately created an office for BEST. Um, our work here our work here has, has pretty much exploded um, since the start of the pandemic. Surprisingly, it's been a very um, seamless blending of uh, the focus of Utopia in and of itself and our focus um, with BEST as an organization. It's, um, it's been fantastic and it's addressed two of my greatest concerns and passions. Um, Thank you, P. I, I absolutely agree. Peninsula College has been a wonderful support. Um, I don't know if anything that, that Zinnia teaches um, is um, available for Linden dollars, but I know that what she does teach through the college is amazing and well worth um, getting involved with. So I'd love to, to talk about slow food movement and farm to table, which is something that we stress here at Etopia. Believe it or not, all of our restaurants, we do have several restaurants here. Um, yeah, I think I'm standing in a bad spot for you, huh? How about, okay, how about I just move a little bit? Let's do this. Let me move. Okay, now if everybody just steps in a little bit, you should be able to hear me. Okay, Dee Dee, you step my way. Two giant steps. Okay, cool. 
All right. So for everybody, so um, we have several restaurants. I'm, I'm not going to type this, and if someone would like to, that's great. We have several restaurants here at Etopia, across um, Etopia Island. Thank you, Reed, and Etopia Prime. And the hosts at each of these spaces do talk about uh, locally sourced foods, farm to table, and I'm putting a storyteller together for the farmer's market that will uh, focus on that as well. Hopefully our storytellers share enough that a visitor is interested and will research it more, the topic. Yeah, they're starters. Get you thinking. Get you curious. Our goal is to get you curious and to understand that a lot of this you can do at home. So you, you have your um, kit, your Explorer Survival Kit. You have the schedule and everything from the info. And that's all you need. Today we've got um, a discussion on facilitating groups. We'll talk a little bit about Circle Way and uh, Leader in Every Chair and how to engage group participants. <laughs> Thanks, I. Um, we have uh, DJ Ange at noon at the farmer's market. Come on by and learn more about farmer's markets in your own community while having a great time to good music. Um, we have Exy talking this afternoon. And tomorrow morning, Zinnia is uh, hosting a superhero workshop. And that's on your schedule as well. <laughs> and just as an aside, all donations do help Etopia keep on chugging. <laughs> 